All right, buddy, it's bedtime. So we're gonna have one more story, okay? Okay. All right, this story is called Bear Snores On. I thought you'd like that because you, you snore a little, I, I hate to say it. I do? Yes, you do. It's called Bear Snores On. It's an international bestseller written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. Isn't that a nice cover? Do you know what it's about? Uh, me snoring? I think so, I think so. It looks like you have a lot of friends. I see a hare, I see a mole, I see a badger. Let's get into this story. I am so excited, I am so glad you joined us. We're having a bedtime story. Do you like bedtime stories? Oh, I bet a lot of you do. You get someone to read to you if you can't read yourself. Can some of you read? <gasps> oh, some of you are real big smarty pants, huh? Well, my buddy Bear can't read, so I'm gonna read to him. Do you have an animal you like to read to or read with? Oh, go get it, go get it, go get it. You gotta get your animal and join us for this fun story. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse pitter pat tiptoe Creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. A twig is a very tiny piece of a branch. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. <laughs> Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Do you remember what hare is another term for? That's right, bunny rabbit. Ho, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mmm, I love tea. I have a cup every day. Mouse sips wee slurps, hare burps big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. Mmm. I love honey roasted nuts. And they nibble and they munch with a chew chomp crunch, but the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. The wren and the raven. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren, and everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Look, they're dancing around, they're having a good old time. Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons the stew, then a small pepper fleck makes the bear... Achoo! He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. <gasps> Uh-oh. And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. Uh-oh. You snuck in my lair. You've all had fun. But me, I was sleeping and I've had none. He whimpers and he moans. He wails and he groans. And the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see. We can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Is the bear happy now or is he mad? 
That's right, he's happy. You can tell because he's got a big smile on his face. Bear gulps, bear gobbles. He sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, Bear can't sleep. But his friends snore on. The end. And that is the end of the story. What did... Oh, Teddy. Oh, my buddy. You're sleeping already. Oh, well, you lay there and you snore on. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope all of you enjoyed that story. And if you had a copy, I hope you grabbed it and read along with me. Again, this is called Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. You can get it in your bookstore. You can get it at your library. You can order it online. I thought it was a really cute story. It kind of reminded me of the mitten that we read last year. And we did an activity with it, an imaginative play activity. Well, I wish you good night. I hope you come back next week for another read aloud. This is Mimi with Kids Stories and More, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget. Friday, we're going to do a craft. It might have something to do with a bear. So come back on Friday and we'll see you soon. Bye.